All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's nice to be back. Yeah. Hello. I like seeing your face. Your face. Your face. <laughs> Whose face? <laughs> Why did you say it three times? <laughs> because I'm. there's three people. Your face. Uh, your face, your face and your, your face. face. Your face, your face. I'm looking at it. <laughs> and Crystal's face. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> you mean the, Chris- the Crystal and an entity's name is Crystal? Yeah. It's a she? So. Um, it could mm, very well have been. Yeah. It's got male energy to me. <laughs> Males suck up at life for planets. <laughs> yeah. But male, yeah, a woman would never do that. <laughs> a woman would never suck up life from a planet. No. It's just not mm. in their nature. I mean, I mean why... Uh, never mind. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know how things just give off certain energy. This yeah, gives like male well, energy. like hurricanes are. are look, I don't want to generalize. But <laughs> hurricanes are mostly women's names. Really? I don't know. I mean, it's Hurricane true. Andrew was the, pretty bad. The majority of hurricanes are named after women for some reason. Really? Is that a, is yeah. there a reason for that? I mean, or I'm is from that, Florida. Because, I don't because know they give off women women energy. Would tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The Simpsons had a reason. Why are most hurricanes named after females? Okay. It's not entirely clear why. <laughs> really? I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> but the maritime tradition of referring to the ocean as a woman may have played a factor. Okay. Yeah. Like you're supposed to name boats. Yeah. Like or like. Or no, no. Boats don't have to be named boats? female. Boats just they need. Do. No, they just need boats, a name. Boats, boats are they them. Boats <laughs> <laughs> are they them. To whom they make concern. Boats simply need a name. Otherwise, it's bad luck. That's what. Oh, that I thought is. it had to be like female, so I was always confused. Oh, it didn't have to be. Yeah, I mean, they often refer to the really? ship as "oh, she's doing well" or whatever, but they don't have to be named female names for sure. Yeah, I guess like I've seen I think boat names yeah, I that think are it's a, as embedded in tradition as as the sea, though. Yeah, like, probably, referring to your vessel yeah. as she is like just as traditional as referring to the sea as she. That's true. That's true. But I've seen plenty of boat name that is not. A female yeah, name. Because I don't think people well, yeah, like, even though it. if it's yeah, even though if it's called like an abstract concept like the USS, like, you know, never die, then <laughs> it, it, never you still refer to it as she back down. <laughs> yeah. Happy retirement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the and it's definitely always the USS. That's, that's yeah. what they're always yeah. <laughs> You're that or uh, Jenny. Yeah, oh Jenny. Uh well we watched we didn't watch Forrest Gump this week. We watched Crystal and Entity, which is kind of a weird one. Because uh, well, the, the name of the episode char- <laughs> Silicon Avatar. Well, you're right. We watched Silicon Avatar. I <laughs> fucked that up. I fucked that up super hard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we watched Crystalline Entity today. <laughs> we watched Crystal. Mm-hmm. Uh, we watched Silicon Avatar, which even the writers didn't- wait Silicon Avatar. S- Silicon, Silicon Avatar. It's yeah. supposed to be a reference to how Data ends up becoming an avatar for Rennie. Oh, is that why? Interpretation. Oh, okay. Because I have a. I read a quote oh, from one of the writers saying they're not quite sure why they call it that either. <laughs> well, that's okay. Then, then maybe I maybe I'm projecting here, but that's the most obvious read that, that I can make sense. Of. Maybe that you thought sense. about it more than they did, <laughs> and, and so because <laughs> like he literally becomes an avatar for the dead. That's dead, true. Dead, You're right. Oh my god. Son. Oh my god. It's true. And he's, and you know, silicon. Silicon's always the the go to like throwaway word to refer to robotic person or android You're right. or whatever. And but but you're thrown off because you think it's about the crystal entity, and you're like, oh man, what's it gonna so, do? And then it's Crystal mm, Man. What they want it's, it? of all of the characters to return, did anyone expect the crystal entity to be the one to return? Is that so, technically so wait, a character? So, so when when yeah. when did we see this crystal meth thing? Oh, it was in the first season. In Lore. It's, it's in the episode you accidentally watched first, where uh, oh, okay. Lore lured the crystalline entity to the colony Data and Doctor Nuni and Sung were living on because he was jealous of the colonists and he wanted them to all die. Oh, uh, okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah, it was so Lore's weirdo boss. Yeah, for some reason he was, <laughs> he was <laughs> in cahoots with a weird. Network of crystalline nerves in the sky, and he made that them can all also. I still don't understand why he like how he established a connection with this entity, and why it was something he wanted to hmm. to do. And why is it capable of traveling at warp speed? And why? Like, how can it do all the things it does? It's crazy. Well, we'll never know now. 
<laughs> well, if only we could have we'll talked never know to now. it. <laughs> yeah, if only we talked to it and asked. If only we communicated with it and asked. <laughs> but, oh, well. Oh, uh, well. It's fucking gone. But uh, anyway. History remains. <laughs> Silicon Avatar. It first aired on October 14th of 1991. Dan, what happened on October 14th of 1991? Tell me. Tell you us. You got to stop asking me what happened on the exact date of the episode because <laughs> there's never, there's, that's very rarely exactly what happens. No, today but, that's all I want. <laughs> okay. Then the nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'll set over. <laughs> Well, okay. Actually, it is actually very, very brief. I just wanted to say that as of right now, Top of the Box Office is taken by a movie called The Fisher King, directed by Terry Gilliam and starring Robin Williams and Jeff Bridges. So I don't know anything about it except those except those details. I've but, never seen you know, it. It's one of the there's enough Terry big Gilliam names movies. in it that yeah. yeah, it might be one of the things. It's worth checking out for people who aren't aware that that is a thing. Mm. Um, and the other thing, another movie. Only a year and a half after Ernest went to jail, Ernest was scared stupid. This took oh. s- that released this particular weekend, and it would be the last Disney-backed Ernest movie under Touchstone Pictures. Is this, um, this is the scary Halloween one, right? Hmm. Yes, yes. He okay. accidentally unleashes a troll on a village, and he helps some kids fight it back or fight back against it. Um, and then it would there would only be one more theatrical release of an Ernest movie, and then five more direct-to-home movies. Oh my god, he had quite the the Ernest empire going yeah and and like this movie was already like the fourth or fifth movie yeah. like so yeah has he anybody, had a quite has, long and storied career has anybody <laughs> noticed that Ernest looks a lot like john cena oh shit <laughs> i guess i guess he could john cena like, is starting related. to look he, he's starting to look more like Ernest as he's getting older and he's getting more That's wrinkles true. on his head and he's getting skinnier because he's not as buff as he used to be because he's yeah. not working out as much because he's an actor now versus like yeah if he told me they were brothers i'd believe you yeah i mean he could be one of the brothers that told him to do the <laughs> they, do you, you think john see cena is a good actor i think he's fine i th- i think he has he has comedic chops i think he has some timing down i he think he's do a good, good yeah i think he's good at comedy i think it's hard to be a a successful wrestler if you Wait, aren't good at you talking are to an some actor degree. if you're a wrestler exactly so. that's what i mean yeah. like like there are some wrestlers that are like so prime- so proctor yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And and, the, and there are some wrestlers that actually aren't good at doing the promo stuff. Like a modern day example would be Ricochet. Like Ricochet is considered one of the best athletic performers wrestling right now. But I think most people would agree he's not that great on the mic. But he makes up for it by being really, really. The Rock's great. pretty good. Well, yeah, The Rock was. No, but he's, that, not, the, he's not a wrestler now. Yeah, that's true. yeah, he's. But, he's not but that's much why he was so now. successful. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. that he cut the best promos like people <laughs> he wasn't even the best wrestler he was like he's the, fine king, of, he's in the, the ring. king of the demo yeah but then, <laughs> there, but then here we start getting a discussion be about charisma versus acting ability that's true and that's what i would argue yeah. is that the rock is much like arnold schwarzenegger a movie star he's not an actor no no I mean? no I, I'm, I'm gonna go with arnold is is an actor you think so? Because really? of that one zombie movie? I, I Everyone consider Arnold that more one of an actor yeah. than, than The Rock. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Really? The, the Arnold's, Arnold is 100 times a better actor than, than The Rock. No, I, I don't disagree, but I would say the main draw for Arnold is because he is a movie star, not because of it. Nobody yeah. goes to a movie to go, man, I can't wait to see Arnold Schwarzenegger's performance. They go, I mean, oh man, no, I want to see Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, Rock. We no, don't say exactly. that. Exactly. Don't say The Rock either. But, but I would... So here's the difference is that Arnold's done dramatic movies. That's true. And sad I mean, movies. I mean, and, and, and I'm, I'm hundred percent in like, I don't, I don't go, Oh, that's Arnold. What the fuck is he doing? It's like, Oh, mm. Oh shit. This is pretty sad. I mean, I black really Adam was sad. pretty serious. Yeah. And mm. it was sad in a way in that it was. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember it was so <laughs> funny. How many, that how many times, terrible. how many times Black Adam like interrupts his own story to stare up at the statue of his son? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to blame it all on The Rock, but it's just funny how like much of a role he has played in the, the complete like destruction of the DC universe. <laughs> Yeah, and they're just like let's just let's just start over. We're done. It's, like, <laughs> it's definitely not all his fault, but like no. his little like he didn't help. Well, he definitely well, did well, not well, help. Well. Here, here's the thing. I, I've said this. I, I've said this privately, but I'll say it publicly here. So <laughs> um, if you notice, it's a very clear pattern. 
if your career is going well, you leave the Fast and the Furious franchise. If it's going bad, you come back. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. But, yeah. But, is but, that but the he, pattern? He, is that here's, here's, the difference. here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Oh my God. That's here's a really difference. good measuring stick, actually. Yeah, here's the difference. Uh, that, Paul, that Paul Walker knew the type of actor he was, and he knew, like, mm. oh, this is just a good like good cash cow. Like, I, why leave it? I'm going to just mm-hmm. keep going. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. he never left it. He was smart. Same for Jason um, Statham. He's just like, why not? Yeah. It's just, might as well keep doing it. Like, yeah, no- yeah. So here's the thing. Vin Diesel leaves for part two. He's too good for it. He goes, tries to do his own thing. He fails horribly. He's he wasn't in Fast and the Furious 2? No. Oh. It was, it was just Tyrese and, and, um, <clears throat> and uh, what's his face? Because he's not in Tokyo Drift, right? Walker. He was just a tag at the end because he okay. knew he needed to come back. So okay. he, he missed two movies and then he's like, oh, I need to come back. So he came back for the fourth one. Okay. Um, and then same thing happened to The Rock. The Rock leaves. Mm. Black Adam happens. A couple other, other movies fails. Yep. And then he's like, I got to come back. So there's a tag at the end. That makes oh, is he coming back? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I should say, spoiler oh. alert. Uh, there's some, th- I'm about to say some spoilers for the movie. So That's fine. It's it, fast. Turn off. Fast X. It's um, okay. Also, Gal Gadot, not doing oh. too well. Not doing oh, too well. Is she a couple in of it? movies. Oh. Guess what? Her character gets killed off a few movies ago. She's in the new movie. Wow. <laughs> Damn, they resurrected her. They resurrect her. That's amazing. I yeah. mean, wow. it's a Fast so, and the Furious movies. They, they you can literally, just do whatever. You, you literally could, it's a great measure. You can literally of, of die people. and come back. Wow. Well, yeah, but also, also it, like I said, it's a Wait, great measure. Wait, how do they of, resurrect her? Do they like drive really fast and. Here's the thing. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> go see the movie and the find They out. spun yeah. the earth around. <laughs> uh, Dan, Dan, uh, they didn't explain. And she just at the at the end, like she comes and saves somebody. And you're like, <laughs> okay. oh, what the okay. fuck? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I do have a question. Fast and furious to stay dead. I do need an answer to something. Okay. Okay. Um, Can someone quickly summarize the Rock and Vin Diesel's beef? Like what? Uh, Here's what it boils down to: along, right? Getting along, right? They were, and then they weren't. Weren't. Here's a here's here's the beef. It's very simple. They offered the Rock his own movie Mm -hmm. uh, in in the Fast and Furious franchise. Mm -hmm. Uh, For some reason, Vin Diesel feels like he owns it. And not yeah. the studio. Technically, he does own part of it. Uh, that's te- why. Uh, not really. I, I mean, Chris Morgan owns more of it than 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 Vin Diesel does. It's true, but he does have a um, stake in it, which is why he has he financially makes a shit ton of money off yeah. of the Fast movies. So when they did Hobbs and Shaw, and it did more, it did better than any of the movies had done. Yeah, before. it did super well. Yeah, he got mm-hmm. upset, and then mm-hmm. there was beef. But that's really it. It's, uh, that's it's, it. it's like. Yeah. Just like a money thing. And I think The Rock wanted to, because it did well, get more control, like yeah. have his own like spinoff like series going. And mm-hmm. Vin Diesel was like, no, oh, fuck you. It's my But now series. they're friends. Yeah. Now they've squashed they're not well, friends. the beef. <laughs> they're, they're, they're friends because of money. Yeah. They're not friends. Oh, okay. I'll work with my enemy. If he's I mean, me Vin Diesel dollars. was always a uh, piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was always like uh, kind of, I mean, this is like, through the grapevine stuff. So n- none of this is like super substantiated, but he was always like- Allegedly. Allegedly. Yes, that's a good word to use in, before we start talking. Uh, he was allegedly intimidated by The Rock's presence on set because he is just a well, physically Well, he's much a short bigger. king, right? Yeah. And The Rock is big. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of Apple boxes going on in their scenes together. Yeah. And, also, you know. <laughs> also <laughs> when, mean, when, 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 yeah. Vin Diesel, when Vin Diesel sees how many boiled chickens fucking The Rock every day- <laughs> They would they I would mean, buy like like chicken coop after chicken coop and they're like, they're like the rock cannot we can't we can't get we can't buy enough coops. chickens they don't they yeah. don't eat coops in chicken. like plastic clamshell packaging yeah, yeah. Do not eat this many coops of chicken yeah it says keep refrigerated on the outside yeah yeah I mean if I had to stand on an apple box next to a coworker I mean I guess I'd feel some type of way too. I feel yeah. sad. But also think about it. Like you, you're over here with your salad and your fucking burrito and like, and it comes like, <laughs> oh, here's, here's a rocks fucking lunch. And it's like five platters of boiled chickens, you know? <laughs> yeah. And pancakes. I mean, I've, mean, I have, pancakes, I have seen and ice cream. Yeah. 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 On his, his cheat days. Are yeah. Absurd. He has epic cheat days. Yeah. Yeah. Which are great. Like, I mean, he's like, whatever. he's like, I bought out pizza hut and I just, it, just <laughs> ate pizza hut all day. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, he literally like bought a steak and salt and straw so you can get quicker access to salt and straw. <laughs> like, yeah, I love. You know what? If I had to pick, though, I'd go with the Rock. I, I would. I'm Team Rock. I think I'd go yeah, with the Rock. I think everybody is. 
yeah, yeah. I mean, wait, a team between what and what? Vin Diesel, Vin and Diesel the Rock. or The Rock? Oh, oh, oh okay. Are you I'd team Vin Rock. Diesel? I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of don't care. We have to know. We have to know. <laughs> oh, we have to. We're drawing are you a team line in the Short sand. King or or <laughs> team. Are you, Iron are, you, are, you, are you team Iron Giant slash Groot? Yeah. Or are you team The Rock slash Black Adam? <laughs> okay, okay, guys. guys. Well, if, you bring, <laughs> if, you, if you bring the Iron Giant into it, that's the best thing you can mention here. I know, I know, I know. The okay, Iron Giant so, okay, like, that kind of dip yeah. that leans it in Vin Diesel's direction, but that he's not what makes the movie good. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, ready? If, okay. uh, if they go, hey, we have to remake star trek the movies the, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know we ha- or we lose the rights which which does happen yes mm-hmm. and they're like we have to make a movie and we mean we need to make sure we get the return on this investment and vin diesel owns half the studio <laughs> but also the rock owns half the studio because mm-hmm. you know Hobbs and shaw one of them has to be captain john luke picard who's it gonna be <sighs> they're both bald I, don't, I don't i don't see the they're rock being a captain though yeah mm. the rock but, is but at Riker. one point He's at one point a- he he is at one point he could be wearing like, but like a do you think the rock would fancy himself a captain? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, he would. I think so. I mean, who, I mean, everyone they all would fancy themselves the captain, but yeah, so I mean, Fuck, that, that's that a really hard one, a Ricardo. Mo- a that's point. a really tough one. Like, I can't see the rock, but I want to go can, with him. Can, you, you, can know? you imagine the rock? Like, he's wearing like like the, the jacket that, that Luke Picard's yeah, wearing no, in the I season, can't yeah, see the and one. then at one point, like, like he's got to go actually fight, you know, and they have to put an action scene, and then he just, he's like, Daddy's got to fucking go to work, and he just fucking rips the shirt and it just <laughs> sl- <laughs> the sleeves of his jumpsuit underneath. <laughs> well, yeah, like he could easily be rocking that underneath yeah. the, the newer jacket or that do we they've see been Vin doing Diesel. Picard, yeah. And Diesel, he'd be like, well, how do we get a car into this thing? <laughs> yeah. Which lines up with Picard very well because yeah. Patrick Wait. Stewart fucking loves cars. How and tall is Patrick Stewart? Patrick Stewart, I think, is, is he 5'10", tall? I think. I forget. I looked it up once. Patrick Stewart's height. This will help us. Patrick Stewart <laughs> how, how is 5 foot 10 inches. So, oh, hmm. well, I mean, you guys, you guys know my first choice would be... Go. Would be my first choice is Jason Statham. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Which uh, I, my second choice, and he would fit perfectly because because of his accent, Jean Claude Van Damme, <laughs> Jean Luc Picard. We finally have an actual French ish accent. Yeah, and, and he would <laughs> yeah. also still be 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 like my brother Robert. I mean Robert. I know. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> but, and then and then Van Damme would just sit between two between like between uh, uh two chairs like Riker's chair and, and the captain's yeah. chair and just do the splits and be yeah, like just, engage. Yeah. <laughs> Make it so I think I might have to go with Diesel, oddly. I feel weird saying that, but I'm team J C V D. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I mean I, I No, I thought it was between the Yeah, we don't have a choice. Hey, there's no rules. Can't, there's can't. no rules. Oh, Mm. Uh, I go with a rock one. though, a rock, because because he could wear be wearing a jacket and then underneath a sleeveless fucking jumpsuit. Dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's hmm. a hard one. I mean, You're it'd be a different kind think. of Star Trek, but you know that's kind of what we're building but from see, the ground up here. Here's yeah. the, here's the problem though. I don't trust the Rock to maintain a oh, franchise. Here we go. You're well. racist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about this a little too seriously here. Yeah. yeah. We don't need to, we don't need to hypothesize ideas. industry moves <laughs> yeah. based Vin, off of this. Vin Diesel has shepherded a franchise to extreme success. So, what do you I don't mean? Know. Like the, the, the Pitch Black franchise? The Fast Because he fucked that up. You mean the. <laughs> okay. Think, look at the franchises he's fucked up versus one that he's been in that it was lucky. What else did he fuck up other than the X series? The X is that even his series? Or is it his series, dude? Is it actually his series? Yeah. uh, I mean, the second one was just it's just Ice Cube. I mean, well, he he wasn't in it and he fucked it up, dude. (laughs) Uh, And then the Pitch Black series that sucks. Oh yeah. Yeah, that second movie was real, real rough. You know the one where he's a vampire hunter too. (laughs) Oh right, yeah. There is some kind of vampire movie, right, with him. Uh, Vin no, Diesel no, makes it? shitty movies. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't be in our fucking in our Star Trek movie. Let's get him out. <laughs> Look, he's richer than you or any of us will ever be. <laughs> True. <laughs> 
But he's not, not a great actor. He's a good businessman. <laughs> he's successful. That's what he is. He's the yeah. George Lucas of of action movies. Yeah, that guy's you know doing what? something right. Because he's got family. <laughs> I would like to take this time to inform you all that our trip around the sun is concluded. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh wow. Okay. It Thank only you. Took We're back. Minutes. We're back now. <laughs> well, look. We should do our sponsor because we have a new sponsor this week. And it's kind of exciting because it happened to be something Sarah already uses all the time. It just happened to fall right into our lap. So you want to talk about it, Sarah? Yes. Our new sponsor, Liquid IV. I already use Liquid IV all the time. It's You're using it right my, now, actually. <laughs> yes. I'm using it right now in my water daily. I've had pretty good success with it. I feel. What does that but mean? <laughs> what does it it means mean? I feel hydrated. I feel Is that extra... what it does? Is that what liquid IV does? Yes. It makes... So I've been on a journey to drink more water because I have a chronic issue where I am chronically dehydrated and I mm-hmm. do not drink enough water at all. Mm-hmm. So that's when I found liquid IV. It's basically like a powder mix and it comes in these small little convenient packages and you just rip it open and pour it in I think about 16 ounces of water and you mix it up and that's it and it's super convenient and it tastes awesome. So you kind of like just take it around with you depending on when you want to take it basically. Yeah. It's, it's portable. You can take it wherever. You can take it to concert festivals because you can just add it to water and they let you in like no one's going to stop you Mm -hmm. and they have this technology called ctt and it kind of takes the water and delivers it quickly gets you hydrated when you need it and what i like best about it is all the flavors because if you think water is boring or Mm. just not interesting enough to drink or they like my have. mom. My mom actually has trouble drinking unflavored water. She has like a thing where um, yeah, she actually has trouble swallowing just plain water. So she actually always flavors her drink. Well, with we need to get her some liquid IV because <laughs> they have a ton of flavors. And that's my favorite part because my favorite one that I'm drinking now is the tangerine plus immune support blend, which has vitamin C and zinc and a bunch of other great stuff. Because, you know, we want to stay well. That's Mm -hmm. important. So if that all sounds good and you want to get super hydrated, especially during the upcoming summer months, which are supposed to be very, very hot and brutal, get 20% (laughs) off when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code newbie at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code newbie at liquidiv.com. Cool. And scene. <laughs> Three, two, All one. right. All right. And then our, our good old standby sponsor, we're back to them, Express VPN. Because, you know, you want to keep yourself hydrated, but what? you also want to yeah, hydrate yeah, yeah, your internet. Dude. I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Every time you're having sex and you're, you're, really, you're really parched, you have a liquid IV, boom. You're back. Have you ever had again. to have have you ever had to have sex dehydrated? It's not yeah. good. Yeah. Not it's good. Not dude. good. Yeah. Mm. It's not yeah. good. Um, you things need asked. to be <laughs> things things need to be, you know, hydrated. Moist. Let's Moist. say that. Yeah. And that's what this is gonna help you with that. Okay? Yeah. Listen, yeah. yeah. IV it does aid lubrication. Helps. Yeah, he's <laughs> lubrication, dude. <laughs> They're you gonna have hydrated. to cut all this. Listen, <laughs> listen. If you wanna stay as hydrated, wait, no. Listen. <laughs> we can't. Listen, you got, you keep yourself hydrated. Yeah, you, got to, you keep yourself in good shape, right? Yeah, you yeah, keep I'm yourself hydrated. You're really hydrated. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and if you want to keep your internet healthy too, yes. Uh-huh, there we go. ExpressVPN. Use that because yes. you know what? <laughs> ExpressVPN is a great way to add another tool to your toolkit of exactly. browsing the internet securely. Because the internet is a dangerous place. You don't want to be raw dogging it without any protection. Yeah. It's like what and they said, bros before hoes. ExpressVPN <laughs> is, is a bros of the internet. Yes. Yeah. ExpressVPN is your bro when you are surfing the internet yeah. because mm-hmm. they are not only super fast, like the name would suggest, it's called ExpressVPN after all, but also yeah, they are very secure. Like all these different companies have done audits of it. Some co- some some co- uh, countries. Oh, you can't say that word, dude. <laughs> you can't say the c word on here. Some dude. countries. Whoa. Have tried. 
to look into their records and see if they can track no. users down. They can't. They oh, don't keep trickies. any. Yeah, no collection logs. Uh, no, bones. Nothing, nothing. They don't keep any logs of any kind. And also, it works on pretty much every app you can think of. Actually works with streaming services like Hulu and Netflix and all these other places oh, trying yeah. to steal your money because they want you to not share your password. So they want you to do all this other stuff. <laughs> do I hear Satan? Yeah. And if you guys want to try out ExpressVPN, just head on over expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they give you an extra three months for free, which makes the entire package 49% off. And I do mean try because ExpressVPN has a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it out and be like, you know what? I don't like the feeling of protection while I'm logging onto the internet and doing things. So if you don't want it, you can just ask for your money back. No questions asked. Yeah. So again, expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. You sign up for 12 months. They'll give you another three months for free. It's like that Circuit City commercial, remember? Like you'd go and he's like, I found a cheaper price. Oh, yeah, price. yeah. And they, oh, and they yeah. gave the kid his money back for his Walkman. I've, uh, I've legitimately done that when I was I've younger. Heard, I've done that to uh, Best Buy. And I, look, Wait, Express did VPN, you fake it? No, 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 no. I, I brought an actual it. ad from yeah. like a local. Uh, yeah. I did it for, um, a, I forget. It was like a, an accessory for a computer. It was a computer console accessory, uh, like, like a peripheral. What was it, dude? What kind? I forget. Like a, think, a VR? Like a I think it was like a, I think it was like a, like a joystick. Like, you know, those, oh, um, yeah, dude. the Hotasses. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. Hotasses. Yeah. That's like the one for, for flight simulators. Oh, then, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. A yoke. A yoke. A yoke. <laughs> a yoke. Uh, but then um, I think I saw it cheaper at my local place but wait what did you call it what did you call it a hotas that's what that's what they're called it's an acronym right yeah it's an acronym for something hotas hotas is an acronym for oh dude Uh, hands-on throttle hands-on throttle and stick can i get a hotas yeah yeah Yeah. i I like to yeah i feel like it's something you ask your lady for yeah (laughs) you know it's our our anniversary can i get a hotas Oh yeah. Uh, yeah exactly. I like some of that hotas, please. Yeah. <laughs> is that like a tool assisted hoe? Hotas. <laughs> mm, uh, she's fast. pre-programmed for yeah. optimal. Uh, yeah. You know what? Like I thought percent. <laughs> uh, you know, it really changed my mind in this whole LGBT thing. You know, my 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 my, my partner performed a hotas on me and you know what? It's it's good. <laughs> I think I'm part of the community. Yeah, I, I think I'm I think I've turned. Yes. Um, a hotas. Okay. Yeah. Hotastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hotassium. Hotassium. <laughs> you know who else is hotastic? Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Yeah, well, that's very rude to Denise. <laughs> yeah, dude. You don't call her a ho. No, um, she's a hotas. She's a hands on throttle and stick. No, you just called her hotastic. <laughs> yeah, dude. She's a hands on throttle and stick tick. Um, <laughs> this, this is, I, I mean, it's a good thing we talked a lot during the other segment because there's not a lot going on in this episode, but I, but I like it. I dig it. <laughs> I, I felt like the same three so things tragic. happened. It, it, I mean, it's like, yeah, like there's no real B story. Like what's the B no, story? No, it's definitely all just the A story. Crystal yeah, well, and here's the B story. Riker didn't get laid. Yeah. And he's very and it, bummed. And I guess the 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 secondary theme of there's like the the surface theme obviously is like a Moby Dick allegory, right? Where it's like, yeah. oh, this is her white whale. They, yeah. they literally even make allusions they, to like sperm that, whales. Yeah. They make that uh, yeah. comparison, yeah. Yeah, to sperm yeah. whales and like how we used to hunt them, etc. But the second part of the theme is about her trying to reconcile her feelings about losing her son. And trying to use um, data, which is as fine, a, but then it gets creepy. Yeah, and then you know it, it goes in places it shouldn't go, and then data has like the most. He's not intending to do it, but there's a huge burn at the end <laughs> where he basically just tells her, "No, man, he hates this." <laughs> yeah, you're a bitch. Actually, um, our founding fathers would have disliked what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I know for a fact because I actually have their memories and thought processes programmed into my brain. So they're in my actually, brain. Yeah. I'm more of an authority on this than you would usually expect. Yeah. <laughs> I I can't wait till that happens. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> so here's here's what here's what goes down. This lady, they're they're basically settling this settlement. <laughs> That yeah, looks yes. like planet Earth. Yes. Yeah, it looks yeah, like planet Earth. Colonizing this colony. Yeah. They're colonizing yeah. Griffith Park. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> dark. yeah. and uh, I don't think so. There's a lake in this place, and I don't think there's a lake. Well, let's see. Well, let me oh, oh, continue. Continue. It was like continue. some sort of like Oak Glen something really. So there's yeah. a lot oh, of it's sexual in Santa Clarita. Oh, this is where Nero uh, Rupert Sarah and I went to grad school. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I mean, the lady's uh, hot. She's cute. Yeah. So she she's she's like, hey, how about you come over and, and like I'll cook dinner, and then <laughs> and then and then he's like, oh, bring bring that bottle of wine and I'll you know, and then we'll have some dessert. Why did he bring dessert. a bottle of wine? Because <laughs> he, he knows why. You know why, dude. You know why he wants. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, he knew, he was like, what do you mean? That's a very, that's a very bottle of wine. Wine. If you bring Sarah. a bottle of wine, is that guaranteed to be alcohol or is that going to be synthol? synthol bullshit too? Oh, well, if it's a maybe, bottle, maybe. no, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. If if it was a jug, then it would be synthol because he would just have it in a jug. I think this is real wine. I think this is from like Robert's. Uh, oh yeah, Robert's Robert's card lent, lent that bottle that he got from Robert to yeah. the card. Yeah, yeah it's like so it's she's court like, wine. She's yeah. like, look, I know you brought condoms yeah. in a bottle of wine. Sarah, yeah. do you think Let's they use condoms? Enjoy. They they sell them all the. <laughs> They, uh, <laughs> that's like you know is that ever discussed actually like is there no they don't protection? they don't dude they don't because oh. because is that needed because we don't uh, need you, you, you sonic shower the sperm out of there you know <laughs> yeah there's Two. no more genital warts and no no STIs no okay. no just get exist. them babies the out okay. no, only dude. the space STIs which are like extra strong and yeah. haven't been cured yet do they the ever Earth- address that in in <laughs> Star Trek at all, like the, not directly, but you know, indirectly, it's, it's implied. I think by like, now, maybe a, a, a like one of the more recent shows may have tried. I I'm, be sure, sure. I mean, I'm sure the lower decks the have talked about here's this. Here's the thing: for they, sure. they probably, they probably, they probably go, "Hey, if you're gonna fuck like a, a Lorax or something, uh, <laughs> or a condom, <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, but yeah, uh, maybe but, don't. Uh, fucking orange yeah. Danny DeVito. Yeah, <laughs> but but if, but if you're just fucking like a like a humanoid, uh, it's fine, dude. We'll, yeah, we'll cure fine. it. We'll, we'll we'll swab it. Do you don't think fucking. maybe at this time there's male birth control? And they can like yeah. take. I think there's, I'm a sure that before. there's like a little you switch know? in the in the in the in the testes, and, the, and it's like yeah. Yeah. just go they shoot can be zero like, sperm. No babies. It's almost babies. like a silencer no and a gun. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you mean or that means you have to screw it on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> screw it on your pee hole. Or or the the um the 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 safety is the prostate. So you oh need the, yeah, you need the, the you need a lady to go in there and hit the switch yeah. and go. Hey, make oh, sure my switch is oh, off. That boy. seems needlessly <laughs> like troublesome. <laughs> I would yeah, prefer an easier method than that. The future seems interesting. Or it's installed and it's controlled to Bluetooth. So they yeah, just have an app. It's an app. It's on their, their comms. Yeah. It's on or there their as well. tricorder. They just go through and like. He's like, oh, hey, yeah. computer, can, can you turn <laughs> off ejaculation, please? No, you want to no, ejaculate. No, keep you, ejaculation you, on. Yeah. Just no sperm yeah. in the just ejaculation. No sperm. Okay, we yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. Sarah. Come on. This is a science. You got to tailor your experience. I don't have. Have a pee pee. <laughs> yeah, but, but you 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 had a science class before. That's true. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, yeah. So so this chick is like down to like DTF, dude. She's pretty down. Yeah, yeah. and and Riker's like, hell yeah, dude. Let's get, let's get down. And then and then they're like, what is that noise? And and, yeah. then, and then they're like, someone's like, oh, it's a predator. They're all like, what? Is, that's a weird noise. I don't know what that noise is. Yeah. Dana, do you know what that noise is? No, I don't. He's like, I don't know what the fuck that is. And then it turns out it's this the crystal meth. Uh, the crystal Christmas tree <laughs> and it's mm-hmm. come to, to, to kill this planet. Yeah. And it's the same crystal tree that we mentioned earlier. It's the one crystal that killed tree. Lord, let Lord killed the Lord of the flies. Uh, <laughs> he killed all those people in that planet. Oh, so yeah. they're running oh, yeah. for their lives. And it, it, this, this thing makes it windy <laughs> and shit. Yeah. It's like a twist. It causes kind of. great wind. Yeah. 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 And it's everyone's like running <laughs> and they save a kid. <laughs> and then, and then for some reason, I guess uh, Riker's, old lady i don't understand if, if this is her her dad or just a general no, it's just a old random man. old man it's a oh, random okay. old man <laughs> my said my my so my mind went wild and i thought oh my god she married like a like a sugar daddy yeah. and she's fucking <laughs> she's fucking right on the side you know she's like oh god my sugar daddy yeah fell. yeah and and then she, she went to go get him and she's like Riker, hell we need help <laughs> and then and then Riker goes to see what's up and see if you know like he's like the more i help her the more the more adventurous she'll get in the bedroom. <laughs> and so he goes over the hill and boom, they get, they get dusted, dude. Just like Thanos. <laughs> the, the, Thanos it was so up. dramatic. Yeah. It was so like sad. The shot of where the old know. man falls. It's like it's hilarious. hilarious to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this wide shot of an old man just falling on his own. There's like nothing to prevent to make him fall. He just yeah. falls. <laughs> okay. Who here would go back to help the old man? 
No, I'm good. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> would you go back? You wouldn't go um, back? I'm, I'm good. If I He's watched like- him fall exactly in that manner, I would say that's a staged fall. Fuck you. Uh, here, here, here's the thing. Uh, oh my God. He, here's the thing here. Like real talk, real talk. <laughs> Like you have to treat it like triage, like like, and we're running to, for our lives. You yeah, know? and also like you have, you have to be like women. And, we have to, you have to cha- save women, and, women children and children first. Titanic style. Yeah, Titanic yeah. style, and then <laughs> and then able-bodied people. Like like so 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 seriously like look. So like, this guy falls in none of those categories. So he's no, gone. Yeah, he's, here's he's the gone. thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. Riker is an able-bodied <laughs> man that could fight. You know, if if it turns into like a like a war type thing, like yeah, a battle, like a combat situation, yeah, he has to fight. The old man's not going to do anything, dude. So you have to you have to make sure that Rikers is protected. So he has to let him go because not only does he have to go help him get up, but also he's going to be moving at a slower pace. Yeah. You gotta, you got it, it's zombie rolls. So we're all like, <laughs> now we, yeah. so it's clear that you would have left him, Ricardo. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd be I like, mean, bye, legit, if I was running, okay, I don't know this old man, right? So I'm running for my life. He falls behind me, and I look and I go, damn, that sucks, but I gotta go, you know? Like, okay, no, you, know you, what? You, you can also yell out, like, look, if you wanna live, he needs help. I you, gotta go, though. No, no, you go, you go, if you wanna live. You magically gotta start fucking running right now, dude. <laughs> like you've never you ran in your life before. Get up, get up, yeah. and start running. Like, like fuck up, man. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a real ass factor in this conversation is how close are you in proximity to the old man when he falls? She if went he's right, all the way back. Like she, she went yeah, like, she far. The way it's depicted, yeah. fuck that. No, no also, way. But also, the, flip if it, he flip fell, it. what? Flip it, Dan. Like, like you're the old man now. I don't want them yeah. to come and save me because because I'm yeah. robbing the opportunity of someone yeah, young no, to saving someone I, young. I legitimately would not want someone to risk their life to save no, me in yeah, that situation. Yeah. Actually, plus, like, I think yeah, I would be like, like no, oh, not me. Why'd what you a, come for me, <laughs> Rachel? Yeah. Rachel, I'm becoming two yeah. face. I think that's easy for us to say until we're <laughs> the ones that fall. Two face, Rachel. No, 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 and no. And then we're no. like, oh, Even, I wish somebody came back and helped me. Here's the thing, though. No, like, 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 if it's a, if it's like a save my kid or save me, no, yeah. save the kid. Well, like, yeah, like, and. That's that has to be that's the mentality that this world has right now in general. That you uh, look, I get it when it comes down to it, like your reptilian brain tells you, Oh, look out for me first. But <laughs> we have to be in right. order if you want to survive as a species, we have to be like, like literally, this show, the show's motto the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, uh-huh. right? Like, so it has to be that have, way. I mean, I, Rathacon. yeah, the old man, too. Like, I feel like he's not really trying to get up either. Like, I no, just, he's given yeah, up. We're, we're not, talking too much about this old man. He deserved to die. <laughs> and I'm glad he's dead. Uh, oh, but the way they get dusted is so like traumatic, and yeah. Riker has to watch that. I mean, well, the lady who's okay. turned he to was dirt. planning on banging fucking gets yeah. dusted. <laughs> he's like, fuck, she turned to dust. I have an issue with what what's depicted here. It's oh, that, boy. It's that later on, we like after they've been in the cave and they get saved and all that, and they come yeah. out and they realize the entire planet has been devastated, like beyond yeah. repair, mm-hmm. like to a barren mm-hmm. dry wasteland. It's like salted. That the only took like an salted. hour. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. That gives me the distinct impression that the crystalline entity was going slow on purpose to give them all a chance to run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going like, run, little bitches, run. I love yeah, it. it's going at like, I don't know, maybe five miles an hour. You're not going to cover a whole or goddamn planet maybe, like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It, it, also, since it killed the whole planet, it makes me think that, yeah, it, it just wanted to eat the planet, like the vegetation, like it's a vegetarian. But you just happen to be, yeah. you know, like- That like was you, one of the theories, true. right? They were, was yeah. that- they're, they're bugs. Yeah. They're, they're little bugs on grass. And they get yeah. eaten. Sorry. Yeah. You know, like how we eat, like in a candy bar or something, there's like a couple of spiders in there. <laughs> like, kind of like that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Statistically. Yeah. Yeah. Statistically, <laughs> there's like a few spiders. <laughs> Every <laughs> Snickers like, bar five. contains two like, and a half spiders. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I'm serious. You know, like how you eat like a salad and maybe there's like, I don't know, there's going to be something. <laughs> oh, here's what I do like know that. for sure. Here's what I do for an assure. We if are the ever, candy bar if, for If the you've crystal. ever had processed mint, like mint, not as mm-hmm. full leaves, but they've mm-hmm. been like chopped up, there is absolutely almost 100% chance there is some spider in there because spiders love mint 
And when they harvest mint, it's always full of spider webs and spiders. And they yeah, so they just so- grind them all up together. That's right? fine. The, the, yeah. it's, it's not protein. <laughs> That's like this. That's like this planet. This, yeah, yeah. The yeah. crystal yeah. thing yeah. is just eating, and there's a couple humans in the way, and it's like, well, just yeah. Delicious, maybe it actually was trying to be weird. like, don't, I don't want to eat you guys. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh fuck, just fucking ate one of them. Ugh. <laughs> the, the, the it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> gross. It's like, Waiter, there's a hair in my salad. <laughs> it, it's like. It's like the, the crystal thing is like snorting cocaine off the, the earth. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and like, it is just a little, it, it, little, it's little a dust. It's a high energy. It's a, yeah. it's it's a doing lines to maintain. of grass. Yeah. Yeah. Lines, of grass. <laughs> <laughs> lines of grass and trees. This is just an accident. It was an accident. So anyway, so Riker, the, the Enterprise finds them and they go and get them out and they realize, oh shit, the whole planet's been dusted. There's a lot of drama yeah. leading up to it. There's all this like, are they talking Right, Man, are they responding? Tell me if they're responding, Ensign. And then they, they yeah, go. Picard's oh, like oh. really like antsy about their state. I know. Like, as they rush toward them, it's like go and faster. Deanna, and Deanna is just like Captain. Just because they're not responding doesn't mean something's wrong. And everything's Picard ba- fine. And Picard's like, shut up, Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> I do Just wonder. Like, I, have, I feel it. <laughs> I have a question though. Like, why was the Enterprise so far away from them? I don't like, know. That is an interesting thing. <laughs> that's kind of rare. Like at first, I was like, like "Wait a minute, why didn't?" It, it's just a, a contrivance to make sure that no one notices a crystalline entity of suddenly appearing above the planet. It's like if you think about it, you have data, you have um, Beverly, you have and Beverly Riker. and Riker, three, yeah, three very of the most senior officers of the starship on yeah, a they planet, just left doing, them on a colony and fucked off. Yeah, you know, whatever they're doing, whatever surface work, nothing dangerous to, on the surface, right? But wouldn't you still want to be like within quick range of three of maybe they had another most... important mission that we're not we're privy to maybe I don't, I don't know. know I just yeah. found it very there are a couple odd. things you could dream up that would explain I guess but yeah. story wise it's probably what Dan said I mean there needs to be some kind of tension of them not getting there fast enough because they have to yeah. be in the cave and almost like suffocate and they're all they're all drenched in sweat and water yeah. and Which like, I don't I don't think yeah. they needed that actually. I think that was it like super s- hot or something? Like why was it because why were they all it's like it's manufactured <laughs> drama that gets resolved fairly quickly, so it's yeah. it's like a minor turn in this roller coaster. Yeah. What it the doesn't fact matter. that they're in the cave and they can't they're, breathe? They're, they're like the they're the opposite of the, the cops in The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> <laughs> they got really sweaty and really dirty really fast. And those other guys got were there for years. They were a, grooming a themselves well, yeah. yeah, for a whole year underneath. Yeah. They were keeping their beards nicely trimmed. And their their clothes were nice and pressed. Yeah, they, they started running a laundromat downstairs. It would be great <laughs> if it was the complete opposite. And in an hour, they all grew like huge beards. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and acted like they were down there for months. Yeah. They all like they all like castaway like in Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, and, um, they're all skinny. They all have a volleyball yeah. each. Yeah. yeah, they're all making spears. <laughs> so, so they get saved and they go up and then they call the they call the uh, ichthyologist or some some ologist. Yeah. Yeah. And she, you find out that she had a son that she had abandoned. A bunch of deadbeat moms on this show, dude. Uh, <laughs> she's also like Beverly, There's and she left her kid uh, to pursue uh, her career. To pursue her career, yeah, and I get that. Look, 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 look. If you want to better yourself, it's fine. But why did she leave him in a totally different planet? I don't understand I don't that part. Know. Yeah, there wasn't an explanation as to why he couldn't come with her. Yeah, or... plus he was like fifteen, sixteen. Like he it was. It's yeah. totally fine. Look at look at Wesley. They would have. He, he the kids was white. They probably would have let him fly a ship somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, to be fair, Beverly did abandon him too. So maybe it's yeah. just like the thing to yeah. do in the it's future. It's the thing you do. Well, so this <laughs> lady, <laughs> fine with it. This lady doesn't yeah, like it's data. normal. Like doesn't Pokemon. like data. Ten years old, just go. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. she thinks data's like lore, and that he was like in in, in cahoots with the. She's Christmas. racist. My, is my what problem she is. with her, the, her character is that she is crazy from the get go. Like at the moment, yeah, she's you see very her, crazy. She is already immediately untrustworthy, which is going against the point of the episode. I think. I yes. think the episode would have been a lot better if it had the contrast of maybe she like shows up and she's maybe very reserved, right? Yeah. And maybe she's privately only crazy to Data when she realizes Data has her memories, yeah. her son's memories, you know, or something. Yeah. The fact that she's crazy the whole time, as the captain, I would have been like, 
keep an eye on her. Let's have a conference. Can we trust her? She seems crazy. Right? Oh, also, <laughs> like, I'm glad you brought that up because Picard yeah. says like early on, he says like, if, if her discomfort is going to affect her judgment or objectivity, I need to know now. But then yes. even though he says that, yeah, yeah. And that, that's like a good thing to, to think and say, but yeah, nothing really comes of it because no one reports back to him about how crazy she's being. Data doesn't say anything to him about what she's saying. There's a lot of lack of communication of how crazy she's being. And it turns out she was also actually completely immaterial to discovering how to get to the crystalline entity anyway, because Data and Jordy figured it out themselves. And she actively fought against the methodology they wanted to use. Mm, that's true. <laughs> yeah. If, if she anything, was not she helpful. slowed down their investigation towards finding the crystalline entity. Yeah, bringing her along just ensured that they <laughs> killed it. That's it. <laughs> Well, oh, yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> she she probably one could argue that she shouldn't have done that. Well, <laughs> killed that, killed, killed the crystal, and that was so yeah. that was so creepy. Like, I I just think she she seems hokey from the start. She seems strange, and um, yeah, I, I just think it's seems, the wrong direction she's given from the beginning, and the actress too. Like the way the director wanted this actress to play out this character is very odd and she has I a just... ton of micro expressions and they're all pained yeah she has just, a pained a and weird... wincing face the whole time like that's like her face she's like it's she's like a weird direction she's like an evil tim burton character she's like always like about to explode with anger or something yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah she's like the cartoony version of the admiral from the drumhead <laughs> like the old lady yeah. who has like an updo comes on board as an expert, but actually has a huge hate boner for something. Yeah. And see, that's a good contrast because the Admiral, Admiral Sati from the drumhead, she comes on. Took some time to show her hand. Yeah. She's very put together and it took a lot to like have her be exposed as having this craziness underneath. And from the get go, you don't trust the scientist at all. Like I, I just. No, no, I don't like her at all. Yeah, yeah, like Dr. Mara reminds me of a Batman villain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just from like I don't you know. watch the derangement and obsession like, you know, consume them as yeah. they descend into like madness. and how does Starfleet not evaluate this, right? Like because they know How is that know, not a red flag? She's emotionally compromised. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. Why would they not have like a assessment for emotional compromising? Because well, they she know also her doesn't son died. Seem, yeah, and they, she doesn't seem shy at all about like, hey, I want to kill this thing. Why aren't we going to kill it? Let's fucking kill it. Yeah, she said it. it out loud, real fast. She's like, let's kill to, it to, ev to everybody that would listen to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She wasn't. She wasn't like hiding it, <laughs> yeah. making it a secret. She didn't go. Like, hey, data, data. Like now that we're friends, he's. Uh, I want to kill this thing, dude. No, she. she <laughs> I wish she had like clear. a harpoon to sharpen. Yeah. <laughs> She's she, a, like she yeah. casually walked up to Picard and was like, so I have the schematics for these photon torpedoes that'll kill it immediately. I'm just going <laughs> to hand it to Worf. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then Picard's like, whoa, 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 lady. Worf looked Hold down, on. by the way. Worf looked Hold at the schematics on. and was like, oh, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Worf was like, hey. I mean, do you guys but, agree with Picard's um, no, direction don't. to communicate? Try oh, to communicate? so Ricardo doesn't agree. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. I thought you meant to not kill her. So Sorry, sorry. <laughs> to oh, not kill no, no. We should have. Yeah, they should have never the, had her on board in the first place. No, 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 no yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was sharpening the, the like Marvin said, the spear and going. Uh, he had did, crystal had doll eyes, black eyes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but from the beginning, she's crazy, and then she turns because she finds out that Data has uh, recordings of her son. And she's like, oh, yeah, Miles, or whatever her son's name is. What is her son's name? Was it Remy? Remy. 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 Remy or Remy? Remy. Remy with Let's like runny eggs. Yeah, runny. Runny eggs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he's like, Remy, man. And then basically she's so crazy that she thinks that's her son now. Like he's like, oh, my son Data. Uh, I mean, yeah. Runny. And That's so she so starts such a one eighty, yeah. And immediately she's she's like, oh, you 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 uh, you know how to like find the the patterns? Okay, cool. That's that's okay. That doesn't deter me from hating you. Oh, you have recordings of my son. Oh, now I love you. Uh, and <laughs> holding hands and too much touching. And then yeah. and then she gives again gives the 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 photon like thing to Worf, and he's like, and then Picard's like, well, I hope you don't have to use it. And she's like, what do you mean? We we find it, we kill it. 
dude. That's kind of like our thing, dude. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's kind of like, We're a- like yeah, <laughs> she's like, she's like fucking, she's like a Liam Neeson's she's just trying to fucking track it down <laughs> and kill it. And, but no one goes, Hey, but you left. That. That's like, why are you so crazy? Like you left your son. Like that's not on us, dude. Like, or the crystal <laughs> thing. And then he, Picard does a whole bit of like, Hey, like we, we can't judge it until we talk to it because yeah. it could be like a whale, like a whale with would the just cuddlefish. Yeah. It'll, like the cuddle with fish and, and, and ask them to <laughs> talk nicely. Uh, and, and he's like, this could just could be, you know, we, we, it's, it's just, just doing its damage. thing. Like, yeah. like yeah. Well, does, it's does, living its life. Yeah. You know, we does eat spiders hear... and candy bars sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And... That's exactly what Picard says. Yeah. He's like, yeah. did, you, did you know? Have you ever never... eaten a Snickers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a repli- replicator Snickers. The replicator knows to put the spiders in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Ha- and does, so... does everyone here agree with Picard? Does I agree. Everyone... I yes. agree with Picard. Yeah. Okay. I All agree right. with the principle of it, but the episode does present the counterpoint in the form of Riker when yeah like it, it becomes like it becomes a basic why doesn't Batman kill the Joker conversation yeah and yeah Sarah and I were saying this the one scene with Riker is a better summarization of the entire problem like moral issue than everything the scientist does yes in this entire agreed, episode agreed, agreed, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, the one scene with Riker is way better because he also well, has personal stakes but he's yeah. clearly not net- letting it emotionally affect him in the same way well he's just he's he's, he's, he's letting his dick do the driving <laughs> <laughs> well I mean yeah. that's what that's yeah. one thing you can say and that's what Picard like insinuates but then he takes offense and says hey I'm not some like fucking rookie here like I've lost people a, a bunch boy. of times yeah and this time I'm just saying that we are up against something that's killed a bunch of shit and this is gonna be our only chance but that argument goes out the window the minute the crystal entity starts communicating back to them and talking and not attacking and then this fucking lady goes to attack it and i mean just because it started talking doesn't mean that it's definitely friendly right so no i know but but, but but we didn't give it a chance we didn't give it it a chance it's It's just fucking she she just fucking attacked it you know pissed it off because she was crazy and then she kills it she kills it and she makes it she shatters it she shatters it and then the car is like well fuck this lady we're gonna they should have immediately thrown her out the window <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, like get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, like, like escort the doctor to the cargo bay. <laughs> and yeah, just and then just flush her out, dude. <laughs> flush her out. Uh, Here's the uh, thing, thing. He, like that's a that's a that's a horrible offense. Because what if there are more crystals that bring a war yeah. on? Like she could have so caused right, a war. Technically, the crystals. Yeah. By the way, that Picard was talking about the entity. I, you could classify this as a war crime. Yeah, because yeah. like yeah. she killed a peaceful. Not peaceful, but like it, they don't, they didn't establish relations with it yet, right? Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was it not identified to, as an enemy combatant. Yeah. And it was under the presence of potentially communication. And they, yep. and it seems like from, let's say, another crystal entity was watching, right? It would seem like the Enterprise tricked the crystal entity and decided to kill it. Yeah. So, you know, they could have started a war potentially. Like, you don't, she could have I mean, really maybe, fought this over, you know? Maybe the, yeah. there will be mo- more crystals that show up. And then I, I do like the message at the end, which is like she kills it, and then and then she goes <laughs> yeah. and she's like she's like finally justice justice for Jesus. I mean uh, <laughs> for for Remy, and then and then <laughs> Data just fucking fucks her up, dude. He's like, oh, yeah, he would yeah. hate this. Oh man, and having having knowledge of 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 his records, he would Your hate this. Your son would be so this was disappointed. Like totally against this shit, and it, which kind of reminds me of like the whole like I don't know, like just really. I don't want to say it. I don't want to get too political, <laughs> but it, it reminds me of really, really conservative people who are like, "Oh, fuck these illegal immigrants," and like, "Fuck helping people," and like, they're just lazy. And it's like, well, hmm, uh, you think judge? Uh, you think God would be like, let's judge them before we hand them out money, and <laughs> or, or like he'd be like, no, if somebody asking for help, just help them. Like what you know, like yeah, what does it matter if there's an imaginary border? Like just, let's just help people that are. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. My my thought is always like, do you think there's gonna be a loophole when you get to heaven? And they're like, oh well, I thought because like they were an American, we we're supposed to help them. Oh okay, you you can still come into heaven. Or were they like, no, <laughs> you, you're a piece of shit, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I think and- I think a lot of these people who do terrible things in the name of religion do believe there are loopholes they can exploit somehow. 
I yeah, think that's- which is which is a bummer because you know <laughs> what in the Bible tells you that God is into loopholes, dude. He's constantly <laughs> having people killed and like, and he's like, oh, no. I'm going to kill everybody in the planet and fucking. And you also and- have to think about you have to think about these type of people think that only one type of people usually are getting into heaven, right? It's not heaven's not for everybody. Yeah, right? yeah, heaven's so. only for white males. Jesus isn't white, right? Yeah, yeah. isn't Jesus is <laughs> isn't Jesus's whole story like kind of a loophole? <laughs> yeah, isn't the entire point of his sacrifice kind of a loophole? Yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to give everyone a fresh, clean slate by killing myself, essentially, and then that's supposed but, to do that. But yeah, but then, the only way it can work. Don't yeah. ask me. Also, I didn't make. I didn't make up how things work. Oh wait, also, I did. Apparently, oh, well. if you if you repent right before you die, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but also, isn't that a weird loophole that that he's like, but I'm going to come back. But then, <laughs> why did why did you kill yourself if you're going to come back? Well, you know, like to judge. Uh, I don't get it, dude. You're so, so be good. You, yeah, be good. Damn it, you're alive. <laughs> You're alive, but we're gonna kill you. The original Santa Claus, and you're gonna be you're gonna be a zombie now. I don't get it. Uh, (laughs) Let's just let's let us be us, dude. Just be a good person. Just treat people nicely. And Remy, Remy would have hated this, and um, (laughs) and she's devastated. And and then she's like, "Oh, please stop!" He like unintentionally destroys her. Oh my god, her expression is like. Does he destroy her, or does Remy? from the dead destroy his mom both, saying, both. I am so disappointed in Rennie's you because revenge. what you <laughs> did is not very scientific mom killing this being that you're studying is not yeah. what a scientist would do it's yeah. someone who's deranged she's, she's really I mean I think the point hits home when it's like she's clearly doing it for herself and it's not yeah. for Rennie if it Ooh. truly was for Rennie if she knew that Data had access to his personality she would have asked him hey should I kill yep. the crystalline entity? But yep. she actually didn't care. No. And it's actually it's for revenge. herself. And she was hoping like Rennie would affirm like her choice. But in reality, he's like, go fuck yourself. You know, like, yeah, I feel like that's, yeah. just once I want a revenge story that does begin with that sort of exchange where it's like, hey, ghost of person I'm avenging. You want me to kill that guy? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Kill yeah. That that's guy. Hamlet, dude. That's Hamlet. Yeah. Hamlet's yeah, like, okay. oh yeah, my, da- my dad totally wants me to kill him, right? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Good old Shakespeare doing it right. Shakespeare would be like, copy that. I want, I want this you know revenge what? to be fully affirmed. Let's speaking, see. Of, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of things that, uh, that George Lucas has stolen, a force ghost, force ghost, from Shakespeare, dude. Oh, oh, that's oh. kind of true. Yeah, 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 yeah. dude. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this like a soft seven, dude. Probably. Wait, almost like we a have six to. And a half. We have to talk about. Do we think it's creepy with her? Oh yeah, utilizing data absolutely. in that way is that appropriate? It's absolutely what do you mean, touching touching data. Well, yeah. accessing her son's personal journals was well, that creepy because that's what because and... anybody could, could could ask Data for anything. He he would tell you if it was inappropriate. I think no, no, no Data I would not think, tell I don't you think if Data would do that. Actually, really, I think Data would just no. be like, sure. He, he doesn't he, know why he, it's inappropriate. He's a computer. He's just going to pull up what. How you're many times has Data said fine. something inappropriate on himself? You know, he's he's like okay, I have but a big would dick. you do that? Say I died yeah. and all of my. Memory, you can call me up like a little avatar. We wouldn't call you up. Get, and also, we, we forget. <laughs> good. We'd be like, rest in peace, dude. And well, you, why, you why can call anybody you can, up? <laughs> you can why? hear my extremely high, annoying voice one more time. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's James <laughs> Marsden. That's Max Goof. Yeah. <laughs> is that really? You know, it's Max that really? Goof. It's Goofy's son. Oh. As well as Bart Allen, Kid Flash, and, and Boone from Fallout New Vegas. And that scene yeah. was so weird. Where like she's like, can you say it to me? Oh, I didn't realize voice? that was James. Da- oh, okay. is that James Marsden? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like yeah. The not to James be confused Marsden? with n- not to be confused with Jason Marsden, the guy who's played Cyclops and started alongside. Yeah, Sonic not the in one the in movie. not the one in Jury Duty. Okay, I was like, wait, wait no, a second. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's he's not James Marsden. He's James Marsden. Sorry, he's not Jason Marsden. No, there's a different. Yeah. There's a different the voice is James Marsden. <laughs> is there a James but and Jason the actor? The actor is Jason, and he's Cyclops. No, he—that's not his name, dude. He's not Jason yes. Marsden. 
No, it's no. James. So the voice actor for this episode is Jason Marsden. Oh, James okay. Marsden is Cyclops. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, yes. Ugh, we go through this every goddamn time. This this dude comes up, and I have to like go around in circles trying dude, to make sure dude, that no, I'm no. not crazy. Okay, I just James posted, I just posted is the it. name of the. I just no, no. posted it. James Marsden is I'm the actor so in Cyclops. Jason Marsden. It says on IMDb as well. Jason Marsden is the voice actor. So. For sure. Wait, what? Oh, I'm so confused look, look at look at Dan's eyes of of, of like, oh my but, god, but dude! I was do, yelling at these. Oh my guys. god. Okay, yeah. You know what? I, I just <laughs> got right. fucked over in my head. No, I no, was swapping it's confusing. James for Jason the, in the, my mind. To the point. That, that's the all point, that was happening yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think both James and I just Jason to fight somebody. have have talked about this, <laughs> and they think it's funny that people mix them up all the time. So <laughs> they're, it mean, doesn't help that they're actually friends. They yeah, actually they're actually friend, talk to each other. They're, and they're friends, but they're not related. That's the crazy part too. <laughs> yeah, they just yeah, yeah. have the same last name, Marsden. Like, yeah, and they're both actors. And then- <laughs> oh, That's horrible. But what did we think? That scene was so weird with the, I didn't know Data could do that, to could uh, recall Oh yeah, yeah, he can do of- that. I mean, remember he did it when he hijacked the ship to go- Yeah, he had to oh, impersonate right. Picard. Yeah, yeah. That's he, right. he does it all I the time. Yeah, he, he's he's got some. So weird you powers. wouldn't call me up just to hear me say, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, don't I feel like I this behavior is akin. This this behavior to me is akin to those instances where it's like, hey, you you call someone's recently deceased voicemail to hear their oh, voice like, like on Jesse. their on their greeting yeah. one more time. Yeah. Okay, that, but that I, would, I would. That's something I would do. But I'm not. That's not. Here's the thing. I think where it crosses the line is think. that it one is. There's two things to me that cross the line. One, data is kind of being essentially a large language model based on it. So it's like he's kind of like making stuff up based chat on GBT style. Yeah, he's sort of chat GPTing well, it. But the, the other, time in which he Im- imitates his voice, I think, is a direct like yeah, no, that, that's, that's a direct, direct trans- Yeah, but, that's just a reading of what was there. But the other parts I don't think is right is when he's reading private journals yeah. and using that to create his data set that she wasn't oh, privy to Oh, I don't think earlier. reading the private journals out loud is okay either. Yeah, but what she didn't, he wrote, he read out out loud a letter, but he did say, I read his private journals. He had a girlfriend, by the way, right? Remember yeah, he said that? Yeah, the and whole she's girlfriend like, oh, thing, I didn't know that. totally yeah. inappropriate. And then he's like, yeah, the girlfriend had like a fat ass or something. Or like, <laughs> well, yeah, it, is, like it isn't, well, the thing is, it isn't just the journals yeah. though. It's also like they're actually <laughs> thoughts he also made yeah. some reference to the fact that he gets to have some of their rudimentary thought processes mm-hmm. as well so yeah, that the, their muddies, temporal lobes will scanned i feel scanned, like that muddies so. the conversation a little bit because he feels like a selfness i would imagine to those things because like th- those are the thoughts and processes that he has yeah, yeah. i think that's like too far. he actually has yeah yeah, yeah like th- the fact that that has happened is kind of problematic but data's own behavior with that data and in, with that information inside of him i don't think is out of out of line i think the whole thing with data having somehow the knowledge of all the colonists it's like a throwaway line from when he was first introduced it was kind of like and he happens to have all the memories of all the call i don't think that when the writers originally wrote that they understood like the moral ramifications of what that really means and what the process of that was it's like how did nunian sung convince all these colonists to have their brains scanned and then put into a robot <laughs> Like it doesn't make any sense. Did they yeah, and if to you're that? and if you're, I don't, I don't know. know. Knowing Doctor <laughs> Soong, maybe not. So. Probably not. Probably not. Which makes this yeah. even worse. I don't think any of it is okay. But at the same time, even that brings up questions of like, well, if you're good enough to scan that many brains and you know get their memories and things pretty well formed out of their minds, like why isn't that technology more widely utilized? And, That's true. And what, it why does seem that, like it is. And why does like extracting uh, like, people's memories and shit? And then also like why does like understanding their thought processes why wouldn't that count as feelings? I mean, that's essentially what feelings are. So why does Data not know feelings then? We don't know. Mm, I think I mean, he can he, recall things, but I don't think he can experience them for himself. I don't know. It's it seems odd. There are certain things about the way Data's backstory is written that upon closer examination you just go, "How? How could that have happened? That doesn't make yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah. well, How did he get he, access to all of his diaries? How did Noonien Sung get Rennie's diaries and scan uh, them in a computer? Yeah. Why would he have done that? <laughs> Presumably all the colonists were on cloud storage. <laughs> and he just yeah. hacked into their Dropbox and fucking... New, yeah, Sung just like <laughs> backed up the cloud into data. Why would he have done that? How did he do that? 
Like this is make why would he use that as his basis for human modeling? There's probably a whole internet of human models out in the future to do that with. We are asking this and you know <laughs> with a lot more technology under our belts than they had at yeah, the time. Yeah, exactly. But, but yeah. Still, Back then, it was a little bit more, you know. The, the internet was starting to happen around then. It was, but eh, uh, not like not it is enough now. to have transformed the world in the way it has yeah, now. Yeah, but they like, did. This was 91. The, the consumer had, internet like, was not yet, like, yeah, widely. But they already had thoughts, thoughts of, like, databases and stuff. Like, they refer to databases not of like information all the time. like what we think about now. I mean, databases and, like, you can look up, like, what is a cat? You know, like, you can... <laughs> Yeah. Show I me will. naked ladies. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. about it. <laughs> well, well, Ricardo gave it a soft seven. A yeah. soft what, does that, seven? what does that mean? What's a soft uh, seven? Six and a half, six and a half. Okay, six and a half, six and a half. Well, I'll go next. I actually, this is one of the episodes that used to come up a lot when I would rewatch it on BBC America. And I used to like it a lot because I was like, this is the like example of Picard as the most diplomatic captain in the world, right? Like mm -hmm. he goes out of its way to establish contact with it, make sure that like, mm -hmm. I, I argue it has much of a right to be here as we do, you know, he's very diplomatic. So I like that. But then as I watch it again, now I'm kind of like, I hate the doctor's performance. It's so mm -hmm. like, not correct. I think like it makes her seem crazy from the beginning, which makes a turn at the end, not really a turn. You're expecting her to betray them at any moment, you know? <laughs> yeah, she it, does. It, yeah. So like, it doesn't like, I think they, they ruined a lot of their emotional impact by doing it that way. And I think I remember reading like some of the actors and the director was a bit disappointed in the way they, they put it together. And I think that's one of them is that they, they I saw on memory alpha that Pillar and the director both expressed like some minor regret over how the episode came out. Like mm. they would have liked to have another crack at it, maybe some more time. But yeah, Cliff Bowl, the director was just like, well, we, we had the time we had and we shot, we shot. So yeah, which is like how a lot of TNG goes. They, they shoot this show so fast that. Yeah. And then to be know. honest, like it, there's a lot of character arc for this lady to work through in the, over the course of 42 minutes. Yeah. Like, I, I show up on the ship and I hate you data. Oh, wait a minute. I, I love, love you data. <laughs> and now you're, and now you're a Silicon avatar for my son. Yeah, yeah. And I, and now like reporting back to you as I continue my mission to kill this yeah. whale. Yeah. The actor's it's name is. It's a lot of really big ideas and concepts to attack in such a short time. I think. Which the thing is, they could have had time to flesh it out. Like they could have not had the whole hiding under the cave for 15 minutes subplot. Mm -hmm. You know, they could have. Yeah, we that. didn't need that. That's yeah, because that ended up not really being much. They could have had it go sweep over and they go, is it gone? I don't know. Let's go check. And when they go check, that's just when you get that really, admittedly, really nice, you know, layers of matte paintings showing. Yeah, that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, oh, it looks good. You know, uh, I just think that. So the actor's name is Ellen Gear, who plays the doctor. And I, I just think she was just given the wrong direction. I, th I think it, if given the right direction, it could have worked. I think she's a fine actor. I just, yeah. The yeah, direction yeah, yeah. Was she clearly great. like has good control of her, her instrument, you know? Yeah. Um, it's just, I know. I, I think I want to give it like a five. Uh, I just found it like, yeah, I know that's really low. I just, um, I, there's something about it that just doesn't, I think, I think it annoys me much more that it's a, it's a big missed opportunity to do it well. And, uh, I think that's what makes it lower for me. But, Why does uh, Star Trek feel the need to have everything so self-contained in 40 minutes? Can't we? That's just how TV was. I guess back in the day, you just have these serialized, yeah. like that 40 minutes is perhaps Not serialized. Maybe the these only... are episodic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. So... Episodic is like the, the, these 45 minutes are the only 45 minutes you might ever see, you know? And yeah, like since syndication exactly. was like the model of the time, like it was very much in everyone's heads to write for a show that can Ugh. be cut up and broadcasted in any order because yeah. like, it's you, like it, kind you would of have, you'd never have a guarantee that it'd be in order. It's the opposite of TV now, right? Like it's, mm -hmm. well, it's we the opposite. Binge, we have binge t shows now where they encourage and want people to watch the entire season, long drawn out character arcs and storylines. Like for you some know, shows, so. there there are still like sitcoms and stuff. I think it's far less than it was in the in yeah, the, but it's definitely day. far less for sure. Like far the serial, less. ever yeah. since like you know Sopranos took off 
and that type of prestige television took off, there's been much more of a push towards serialized There's not television. a lot of shows that you can just jump in like Star Trek and watch an episode and not yeah. have and any In fact, they context. took a really, they took a huge risk by bringing back the crystalline entity. I'm sure a lot of the audience is like, what the fuck is that? Why do I care? But well, like some yeah. of the audience is like, oh my God, that thing from season one is back. It's weird, you know? Like, but yeah. They're excited. They're excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I probably give it a six. Um, I'm about there too. Yeah. It, it, it just feels like this was, there was a lot of really, really big concepts that were really hard to attack in 45 minutes. And I think it could have been pared down a little bit and changed direction. Maybe if they had more time, it just feels like, yeah, a missed opportunity for some really, really large questions about loss, grief, also morals of attacking and exploring other beings that you don't necessarily understand. You have questions around, you know, avatars and people accessing private information and recalling that for the sense of connecting with someone who's passed away. I mean, yeah. there's just a lot of there's a lot of stuff to to think about. So a lot I think of the maybe if we stick are... with one or two of these concepts, it would have been okay. But all of them at once was a little much, in my opinion. I think I, I think it, it could have uh, meaningfully doved and dived, d- dived, dove, dove into those topics if it was just executed a certain way. But that's a hard thread to. Uh, that's a hard thing to thread, right? It's like very tricky, and given the constraints of network television, mm-hmm. so like. You know, yeah. I don't bemoan it. I mean, it clearly when I first saw it when I was younger, I thought it was great. Um, it's just I think I'm more, I'm more critical as I'm watching this show in order, and I know how good the show can be. Like compared compared to like Ensign Row, I think Ensign Row is a far better episode than this. Yeah, for sure. And you know, they can do oh. better. They've definitely proved that. I just think, um, yeah, the crystal was cool though. It was a fucking yeah. cool ass fucking. Enemy. <laughs> Earlier, I was cracking a up chandelier. silently to myself. <laughs> we have an enemy <laughs> chandelier. <laughs> Every time Ricardo was calling it like a meth, whatever, I was thinking, "Is this crystal entity Walter White stand?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, is it Joe? Walter's middle name is Joseph something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, okay. To be fair, you do not need to be a JoJo to have a stand. It's true. It's true. It's true. He would Marvin be one of the nothing. villains. I don't know anything <laughs> about JoJo, but I've only I seen did. part uh, up through part four. <laughs> so don't don't come at me beyond that. Uh, um, I will bring up one last thing. There's a scene where that begins with Data playing the guitar in his oh, quarters. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! And He's it's so good. But it's not real. It's not. You can tell because you can hear a bunch of sliding up and down the neck that he isn't doing. Yeah. Oh, so it's Mm -hmm. fake? What the fuck? I mean, someone someone apparently taught him how to do, make the finger picking look kind of, you know, realistic. Yeah, like uh, with the right, with the right backing track, that would have been pretty convincing, but they just, yeah. Yeah. Like. There Why even have that scene there. of him playing the guitar like that? I thought, it, that I thought it was going to turn into something. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, there would be more like, like some sort of reference to his dexterity or his like musical artistic ability or if that would somehow factor in. But nope, it's just a throwaway like, hey, watch Data being, you know, and, mechanically and I, proficient at anything <laughs> he tries. And I don't I know why. I don't know why it's a guitar instead of the violin, which we've seen him actually practice before. I don't know why he suddenly switched to the guitar. Which is, why not play anything? You I can replicate know. any instrument and learn it all. <laughs> because that's that's like the history is what he did before. Yeah, I don't know, you know if the what? guitar. <laughs> Data should be one of those TikTok people who does every instrument track on like a throwaway song. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, he totally would be should. he would be that guy. Okay, okay, he's become a he would definitely a, be that a TikTok star if he came into our time. One last thing: James Marsden was Gear from Static Shock. Oh shit! James, I forgot. James or Jason? Yeah, James, like who we're talking James. about? James? James, James, James. Actually, James. Sorry, no, Jason. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Dan, 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 you weren't killing me, man. Okay, this is officially man. this You're is officially now my problem. Me. Dan, I'm so you sorry, have everyone. a you this have is officially a my problem. problem. Uh, Dan, yeah, oh my Marston. god, uh, my head was like. You know what? what? You know what doesn't help? It didn't help that oh, for the longest hard. time on the official 
Fallout New, not the official, but the Fallout New Vegas wiki, it did list him as James Marsden for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, in the credits, he was incorrectly named. And that was yes. why it started, like all this began. This this yes. confusion began because of that. Yes. I want to so, say. So, God. And J- Jason Marsden was the voice actor in Fallout New Vegas. I'll for... also point out that I'm glad that you're taking this time to correct me, Sarah, because last time you did not correct me I did. when I said that Taco Bell <laughs> does not have Diablo sauce when they totally fucking do. You're Thank the you. fan. You're supposed to look out for me. I wanted you to get crucified on the internet. Some people brought it up. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not saying anything. No. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, you just th- just left me out there to get eaten by the wolves. <laughs> Yeah, the Taco Bell wolves. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, the people who are ready to jump down our throats about anything Taco Bell related. <laughs> okay. Vicious. Well, that was sil. Actually, it was Silicon Avatar. It wasn't Crystal and Entity. It was Silicon <laughs> Avatar. That's the episode we watched. We're all we wrong have, about shit. We have, We're all we wrong have about so everything. much wrong. Yeah, I know. First, Jason and James Marsden. Now, Crystal and Entity and Silicon Avatar. Then Diablo sauce, and I don't know. We just don't know what's going on. Well, listen, at all I hope anymore. you guys have enjoyed our getting shit wrong all the time. And also, you know, if you guys want to give us a review wherever you are listening to, either on you know YouTube or Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you can leave a review or comment or whatever, you could do it or don't. It's up to you. It depends on your 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 bandwidth. You you leave us a comment. Bandwidth. Leave us an email. <laughs> Send us an email. Leave us a comment on TikTok on YouTube. You don't you don't have to anywhere. Yeah, and but but if you do want to send us an email, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek dot com. That's contact at newbiestartrek dot com. But slots uh, are limited, so act quickly. <laughs> we have a limited number of email <laughs> slots in our in our inbox. Truth. Technically, uh, we do. <laughs> Please email us and tell us: Would you have killed the crystal? Would you have tried to communicate? Would you have well, only broken off a little piece of it? Yeah. For would you have tried to? <laughs> would you have tried to snort it? Would you try to snap off a piece and start try. crunching it up with the back of a knife in this room? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Riker, Riker gets high as shit. Oh, yeah, man. Riker's like, mm, maybe oh. we should try this crystal. Well, well, just like last week's episode, this week's episode, uh, email, I should say, uh, came with a picture. So I shall put it into our chat. Uh, and this email Ooh, comes from pictures. someone named Amanda. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the title of the email oh is Frakes and Spiner looking absolutely zooted. In one of your recent episodes, <laughs> zooted. I like a viewer that. sent in an awesome picture of Gates McFadden riding a unicycle on set. Behind mm-hmm. the scenes Star Trek photos are one of my absolute favorite things. I love seeing Brent Spiner in full data getup wearing a baseball cap or Michael Dorn with dwarf okay. makeup and a printed shirt and jeans. The contrast in these photos genuinely creates a really cool aesthetic that being said this photo shared by gates mcfadden on twitter is probably my favorite because of how out of it jonathan frakes and brent spiner look never fails to make me laugh newbie star trek is the most enjoyable star trek podcast i've come across oh that's very kind of you to say oh thank you you. Uh, never stop going on insane tangents it's really entertaining listening to you all argue and rant about really weird shit amanda (laughs) boy there's some really weird shit in this episode um is that a cigarette in his in Data's hand? Yeah. What I don't know. Is, is that, that is that powdered cocaine on Jonathan Frick's collar? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know what that is. Is he smoking though? Is that a joint, a cigarette? What is that? It could be a joint. I, I think I, I don't think it's powder cocaine. I think it's I relaxing. It's, That's what it is. I it's think, just a shine. Uh, yeah. No, I he think he looks like he's high. They both look I high. I think uh it's a it's a it's a little hole in the picture. Oh. I think it's a scan picture it's, and it's a uh, hole. Or I think uh, it's glare. Okay. I think it's I think it's glare that corresponds to the like, cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's more glare up near the top as well. Yeah, but that's clearly like a cigarette, right? Like he's smoking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like the, the funny part is the person they hired to play Data, fucking Brent Spiner, is like in person. Is he a smoker incredibly goofy and mm. like very like he's like a clown <laughs> like <laughs> Sarah's obsessed with the smoking yeah people smoke yeah. Sarah is, that, is know, that a cigarette man. is he smoking a cigarette is he what smoking a cigarette yes he is look, look you know what I don't know 
know. I get very interested if people people smoke, people cigarettes smoke cigarettes cigarettes, dude. I guess back people in the day cigarettes, it was dude. more common. I don't know. It's just not common yeah, these days. I absolutely six, was I, in the nineties. I smoked, I smoked ciggies for like ten years. Yeah. Yeah, but my dad still smokes ciggies. Uh, not everybody Damn. does anymore. Do you anymore? I don't think you do. Do you? Uh, Every now I mean, and then with a drink. Yeah, remember when back when we were Stressful kids, we actually walk into a McDonald's and some of them still had ashtrays. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I remember. You that. can walk into a McDonald's with a ciggy in your mouth and order, and be like, yeah, let, man. Me put, let me put, let me put my ciggy on the counter while I order yeah. my food. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just shocked. Fucking Denny's used to have smoking, non-smoking sections. Oh yeah, I, I, I remember just, planes. Yeah. You could smoke in the plane in the back. Oh god, yeah. that was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I remember the smoking or non-smoking. Yeah, I mean, I just, I guess, I'm just shocked that he's a smoker. I don't know. I didn't know that. Let, let the man smoke, dude. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to hate. No, he's a lovely surprised. man who likes to smoke ciggies. He At looks. He not- looks. He looks happy though. Him and yeah. Him and Jonathan, they look happy. What was the question though? Was there a question? Oh no, no question. Picture? They just wanted to send us this picture. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah. cute. I That's like it. this picture. <laughs> it looks like his arm doesn't have makeup on it, though. Like his underarm. Oh yeah, looks, they they looks- they almost certainly only ever did the makeup up to his hands and wrist because he's always wearing a yeah. long sleeve. So. Like it looks like yeah. his arm looks just like a normal pale color, and then the rest <laughs> yeah. is just like his normal skin color is almost green. as pale. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty pale close. still. <laughs> yeah. Wow, uh, Amanda! Cool. Thank you for the for the wonderful picture. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you. It is that always fun really seeing cool. BTS of actors just bullshitting on set, especially during this era where they had nothing to do. I remember Dan brought up the point like there are no smartphones yet. Oh, so yeah, they really so needed God. to do something to entertain themselves while waiting. <laughs> in in between shots and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so. were smoking cigarettes, apparently. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with the cigarette thing. I'm just shocked. I don't know. <laughs> cigarette. Uh, well, Siggy. thanks for listening. Go head on over to FugitiveFrames.com. We have other things we're doing. Actually, we did do one thing last two weeks ago. Uh, I played some Street Fighter on the Fugitive Games channel. Because uh, Street Fighter 6 came out and uh, I did some world tour mode. Not a lot, but there's something there. I, I'm loving Street Fighter 6. I've been playing a, a lot of it off stream. So maybe I'll come I've back. I've been playing world tour mode off stream. It's yeah. very, it's, it's, it's a damn good Street Fighter, man. This is legitimately the best home version of Street Fighter ever made. It's what is, what is, what is, what do you mean? Street Fighter 6. It's really good. It's the best Street Fighter. Why? Has ever what, makes been. It, what makes it good? Tons of Van single Dam's player back? content, T- like like they have like an open world game built into Street Fighter now, and mm. it, and you can create your own fighter. You can go into a hub where a bunch of you and a bunch of other people can play, interact as your avatars and fighting. And you just could, have, could my avatar look like John Claude Van Damme? You yes, you can make your avatar look like a celebrity, look like a monster, look like whatever you want. There's some really Ro horrific Julia? create. Yeah, there's some horrific creations people have already made in the Street Fighter Six avatar creation system. And uh, interesting, it is overall a very satisfying game. I haven't felt this satisfied. Uh, pushing oh my buttons. God, Sarah, Sarah's Sarah's in the podcast too. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pushing buttons since third strike. That's all I'll say. All right. That's not what you said last night. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh. <laughs> JK. But all right. JK, that's all everyone. at FugitiveFrames.com. Next week. What are we watching next week? I think it's that one episode where... Yes. So this no, is... No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No, yeah. Come on, dude. But, Just give but, us the title. Just give us the title. Is this your favorite episode? Disaster. Tell us. Yeah. Tell Disaster. Us every, episode, every episode is the best episode of a season. Is the best season. <laughs> I don't trust you, Marvin. It's the best episode yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. We're watching it's a disaster. What? It's, a, it's a disaster? It's a okay. disaster. Disaster. Mm, so that, okay. That'll be next time. This um, better be a, a very yeah. good or very bad episode. <laughs> yes. Uh, if it's if it's just a middling one, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Later, guys. Oh, smite your enemies. <laughs> next time.